I want to talk to you today about don't waste your pain. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. It's easy to get discouraged, even bitter. Think, why is this happening to me? One of the best principles I've learned is don't put a question mark where God has put a period. All of us have things we don't understand. One reason is we can't see the big picture for our lives. If you have a puzzle, on the front of the box there's the picture. You see what it's supposed to look like. Maybe it's a sunset overlooking the ocean. As a whole, it's fantastic, it's so beautiful. But if you were to take one piece and isolate it, you would think, look at this funny looking piece. It's a mistake, it's not gonna fit anywhere. It's an odd shape, there's nothing beautiful about it. But the fact is, that piece has a perfect place. It's already been fitted, planned, designed. When the other pieces come together, it will fit in. The reason you can't see it now is because they all are not in place yet. In the same way, sometimes we look at pieces in our lives that don't make sense. Joel, I went through a divorce. I lost a loved one. I'm going through cancer. My business went down. This piece couldn't be a part of God's plan. But you have to trust that even in the painful times, the times you're hurting, you're lonely, you're taking the treatment, on the surface, that piece doesn't make sense. But God doesn't make any mistakes. He's already designed your life, laid out all the pieces down to the smallest details. And God never said that we would understand everything that happens along the way. He didn't promise that we'd never have any heartache, pain, disappointment, loss, setbacks. But He did promise that it would all work out for our good. And that piece is painful. Doesn't look like it makes any sense. When everything comes together, it will fit perfectly into place. The key is what we do in our times of pain. Pain will change us. Heartache, loss, disappointments, they don't leave us the same. When I lost my father, I didn't come out like I was before. I was changed. If you go through a divorce, a legal battle, a friend betrays you, eventually that will pass. You'll get through it, but you will be different. Now how the pain changes you is up to you. You can come out bitter, or you can come out better. You can come out with a chip on your shoulder blaming God, or you can come out stronger with a greater confidence in God. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new passion, a new fire, excited about the new opportunities in front of you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. The scripture talks about how God is in control, not just of our lives, but he's in control of our enemies. Satan had to ask God for permission to test Job. The enemy may turn on the fire, but the good news is God has his hand on the thermostat. God controls how much heat, how much pain, how much adversity. He knows what we can handle. It's helpful to remind yourself, I may be in this fire, but I know who controls the temperature.